make this video because there's been a lot of questions already and I might as well make it to just be a short little video just explaining everything. So why a cotton stripper or why a cotton picker? They're, they're similar yet they're very different. So it all, it all, in the end it usually basically depends on what kind of cotton you really do have. Uh, yeah, a cotton stripper you have an eight row header and a cotton picker you have a six row header. But a cotton picker will always have better grades whenever you bring it to the gym. That's just a cotton picker because you have no burrs in there, next to no leaves. It's very, very clean cotton and the gym will always pay you more for having cleaner cotton. Now, you can't use a picker on every single acre you have because the cotton picker just doesn't do a great job on a certain type of cotton. If your fibers are very, very short, you will leave a lot of cotton on the plant since the picker just picks from the end of the cotton and pulls off the plant. If it's, if it's very short fibers, it rips apart and half the cotton stays on the plant. So depending on what kind of cotton you have, sometimes you need a picker, sometimes you need a stripper. In very high yielding cotton, I don't know, say, say four bale an acre or higher or three and a half bale or really high yielding cotton, a picker will normally always do better. You'll be able to go faster because you don't have the ginner, the burr extractor to slow you down any. The cotton picker will always, always advance and go faster and do a better job in high yielding cotton. We had a couple of acres last year where we had five and a half bale an acre cotton. The stripper had to go two miles an hour and the picker could go three and a half, maybe four. But in that situation, because the cotton stripper is going a lot slower, as you saw in my last video, a cotton stripper has brushes. And if you're going slower, those brushes have to hit up against the cotton plant a lot more throughout the day. And because it's going slower and the cotton plant stays there longer and it's brushing up against there longer, you'll get more of that bark among the cotton and that will also give you bad grades. So with high yielding cotton, you would normally want a cotton picker. Now, Field Rose, they, he, meet, he recently made a video where his cotton picker wasn't doing a very good job on one of his fields. There, maybe a cotton stripper would have worked a little bit better, but in the end, you know, you'll still get better grades with a cotton picker than with a cotton stripper. The stripper probably would have helped him out a little bit there to clean, clean up the field a little bit but it's not that drastic. It, all, it really all depends on what kind of cotton you have. Sometimes you need a cotton picker, sometimes you need a cotton stripper. For our area right here now, what we're harvesting now, we're averaging more two bale an acre, kind of, kind of in that general neighborhood, and it's very short cotton. So there, a cotton stripper excels very well Especially if the cotton bowl itself is very low to the ground, not necessarily hanging low because of the stem. Say the stem is very long, but the bowl is hanging low. Cotton picker would still pick that up, but if the bowl is very low, very low to the ground, the picker has a very hard time of picking that up. That's why when you have very tall cotton, uh, the stem or the plant itself is pretty decently tall, and you have cotton all over the place, the picker does a really good job. It really depends. Some people need a picker, some people need a stripper, depending on also, you know, your your weather. A bunch of things go into effect. That, that, all, that all depends. Sometimes it's personal preference even, but, you know, it, sometimes you need both. That's why we have both. We currently have three cotton pickers, CP690s, and two CS690s cotton strippers. So we currently have five machines and uh, these two cotton strippers are working here. And we have another farm down south where the three cotton pickers are working. We have a few fields here in this area where the cotton looks a bit tall. We're gonna strip a couple around, see how the cotton stripper does. If it doesn't do a good job, we're gonna have to hire someone else with a cotton picker to come custom pick that for us. But we're gonna try with the cotton stripper, see how it does first. Like I said, it's kind of personal preference, but just thought I'd clarify on that. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer the majority of them. But that's kind of, you know, the gist of it. Uh, and then, 
lastly, before I finish this video, I have one question. Would y'all like me to do a live this harvest season with cotton? Uh, I feel like I could do it any time now. I'm not extremely hectic. A lot of our fields are pretty clean, so I'm not constantly backing up, climbing in and out of the stripper. So if you would like me to do a live, let me know, and then I'll set up a date and we'll do another live again. But as for now, this will be it for the video. I appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And prime example of what I was just talking about. This is the next field that I was talking about, how we weren't sure if we wanted to hire someone with a picker or do it ourselves with a stripper. Well, this is the job that our stripper's doing. It's tagging a lot, leaving a lot of cotton everywhere. And we still haven't made up our minds yet because this, this looks bad, so we don't know what we want to do yet. There's lots of cotton pretty low to the ground. I guess, for instance, you, know, you got this one. This one the picker would probably pick up. But then again, this one right here, the picker would not pick up. That one's just basically laying on the ground. But, I don't know, it looks pretty bad. We'll decide what we want to do. If the picker doesn't do a better job, we'll have to be okay with this terrible of a job. But, I guess uh, it is what it is. And technically, we should use a picker on this field. But, since... We're not harvesting any other fields anytime soon. We're just gonna do it ourselves. If it does a terrible job, it does a terrible job. I don't know, it'll be okay.